Yo, what's going on guys? It's iHelper, and before we even say anything, I know it's been four and a half, five months since my, since my last upload, and to be honest, there's no excuse for that, and it's, um, it's just been so dry with everything in the jailbreak community, and there's really been nothing to upload on, but I'm back since there is literally an iOS 11 through 11.1.x jailbreak around the corner. And what this video is going to be today is a top tweaks video for iOS 11. Now I'm running the newest um, Electra version as of right now. And that is Electra Beta 6.5 on my iPhone 8 running iOS 11.1.2. So we're gonna hop right into it. Oh, and before we, um, before we start saying anything, uh, my anemone theme is called Solstice Ten, and I could not find this online anywhere. So what I did to grab that theme, and I had to do this with Cylinder too, but we'll get to that. Um, I had the SSH into my phone. Well, first of all, I had to SSH into my jailbroken iPod Touch 5th generation, uh, grab the theme from there, put it on my desktop, and then put it on my phone. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can look around on Reddit, or if you really need help, you can DM me on Twitter, and I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, my Twitter is at iHelperYT. Uh, but the intro of this video has been going on for long enough, so let's just get started. And like I said before, the first tweak we have is called Cylinder, and what this tweak does is it just adds these animations when you're swiping between apps. I'm sure you guys all know what Cylinder is. I actually had to do the same thing to get Cylinder, um, because I could not find the deb online anywhere. The one from City Crawler's link is broken, and I just could not find it anywhere. Um... But that is what Cylinder does. It's basically a barrel art alternative. Excuse me there. Um, and there are so many options to configure. Not options as much as effects. I was using Hinge right there. We could go to, let's just pick Dominoes. And as you can see, it applies the theme with no respring required. Um, but that is Cylinder. The next week we have is called Blurry Badges. And what you guys can see on my badge for settings, the App Store, and YouTube, it is the shade of the icon color. So settings is gray, App Store is blue, Snapchat is yellow. Um, you guys get the point. Now there are options to configure to however you would like it. I like just using it. Um, just default just the way it is as it comes preloaded on the onto the device but that's just my personal opinion um, and that is blurry badges and the next week we have I'm sure you've noticed it by now is cask and what cask does is it adds this animation to when you're scrolling through pretty much anything it doesn't well it doesn't do it on Twitter or Facebook or social media apps but it does it on snapchat um, as I say it doesn't do it on social media apps it works on snapchat settings you know all things that you'd expect it to work on it does and that is cask the next week is Fingle and what Fingle does is it basically adds animations to your icons and I had to get the theme the same way I said before. I had to SSH into my iPod Touch, grab it from there, and then SSH into my phone, and then put it onto the device. Now I'm not going to show you what that theme specifically is. I would, but um, pull to respring doesn't work for me for whatever reason. It says it's fully working. 
fully working on the spreadsheets for the electric tweak compatibility list that um, Reddit users have compiled, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't respring my phone. The next tweak is called I8 Corners, and I don't know how well you guys can pick this up on camera, but the corners of the screen of the display itself are rounded. Um, and you can change how severe that effect is. I like it to be very minimal. Um, but once again, that's just personal preference. And you can basically just, I mean, you could round it really far. I don't know why you would, but you could if you, um, if you wanted to. Uh, moving on from that, the next week we have is called Date and Status Bar. Now, as you guys can see up in the status bar, it just says January 22nd, the date as this video is being recorded. And it just moves the time over a little bit, centers the date in there. And in my opinion, it looks really nice um, being there like that. And that's basically all um, Date and Status Bar does. There are no options to configure in settings. You just install it, respring, and it works. Now, I'm sure you guys noticed Snapchat having its good old time down there bouncing up and down in the dock, and that is courtesy to Bounce Notify 8. And as the name implies, um, it just makes whatever app icon that has a notification in the dock just bounces. It's just basically begging you to give it um, attention. Now, it took me a while to get this to work, I don't know why, but I had to configure some settings. Like I just had to um, move some stuff around, like the default is 5 seconds for the bounce interval, and I had to change it to 2, and for whatever reason, 2 is the only one it works for me on. Um, if that's different in your guys' case, let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, that is bounce notify 8. And the dock being so transparent as it is down there is courtesy to Dock Alpha. And you can basically just change how translucent you want it to be depending on your personal preference. But I like it just to be just almost clear enough so you can see the wallpaper in the background. Um, yeah that's doc alpha and that's gonna wrap up this video I know there are a couple tweaks that you guys probably saw that I didn't talk about in this video and that's just because I don't have the technology or the technological um, what's the word the technological experience of editing videos and there's information in apps that I would have to use to sh demonstrate these tweaks that I don't feel comfortable putting online um, for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, that wraps up this jailbreak tweaks video, guys, for iOS 11. Um, I will be making these a lot more frequently once Cydia and Substrate is updated by Sorek, which should be happening in the next week or two, I'm hoping. He said he was almost done two, three weeks ago. Sorek did. Um, so, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and look forward to more videos coming in the future. Let me know just video recommendations or just anything really. I'd be happy to hear any sort of feedback from you guys. Um, but yeah, it's been iHelper, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.